Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hello, Samuel. Hello, Milagro. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Very much. Okay, very nice. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello, Daisy. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello, Esperanza. Hello. Hello, hello, Nelly. Hello. 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 I just need to improve the audio. Okay, people, how was your day? Was it good? Nice? Nice. I am excited, teacher. Why? Why are you excited? All right. Okay, now Lillian. We have Reina, okay. We also have Marta is here too. Brandon. Oh, Ivania is here too. Okay, fine. Well, let's get started because it's I bastante que hacer today, right? So we have, um, we're gonna start with Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is uh, yesterday we finished with the video for numbers and ages. Then we had um, WH questions with B. Okay, this is the video that we have for today. What's your name? Where are you from? How are you today? Who's that? How old is he? Remember, how old are you? How old is he? Uh, then we have who are they, where are they, and what's real like. Let's uh, begin with this. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who? what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be, you're gonna have a WH word plus the verb to be, plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. 
How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now, it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then, for your friends and relatives, remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Hi, everyone. In this class, where are you from? And the Okay, there is something important. Uh, remember, I was uh, telling you the other day uh, the the three forms, the three forms of the verb to be, right? Is, am, um, and are. Okay. Then we have, for example, the wh words is who, what, when, where, how, and why. Okay. Que se pueden incluir otras como whose, que las van a ver más adelante, whose, how many, how much, okay? But these ones are in this level. Then we have the who, it's what, okay? You can use what. The verb to be is, are, or am, okay? Todo dependerá del pronoun que le siga. For example, who are you okay who are you a uh, what is your name okay what is his name when is your birthday when is your birthday when are you coming to visit your mother when are you going to visit your father okay where where is el salvador where is usulutan where is santa ana okay then this is for example how old are you how old is he how old is she how old are they why and reasons Okay, so we have WH word. Then you have the verb to be, is, are, or am. And here, I, you, we, he, she, or they. Okay, here, share. Okay, now vamos a ir a los ejemplos gráficos, right? Okay, here. W, H. Okay, then we have what? are for example what are your names i'm gonna use another one what is your name okay now where Where are, where are you from? Okay, then uh, who is your brother?
Okay, so then you see the WH word, WH. So here you can see the difference, right? Okay, then we have WH. Word to be. Okay, and here we have a complement. Ok, si aprenden esta fórmula y ya, digamos, podemos generar, aquí nos va a hacer falta tal vez vocabulario, right? What is your name? Where are you from? Who is your brother? Ok, so that's how we're going to do it. Uh, now, in the chat, Escriban las preguntas que se les vengan a la mente usando what, where, why, eh, who, how, ok. For example, why are you eh, happy? Ok, why are you happy? Estoy escribiendo en mayúsculas para, para que se vea bien, ¿verdad? No es por lo correcto, lo mejor es escribir con mayúscula y minúscula, ok, la primera, why are you happy, ok, how are you, why are you happy, and that, ok, eh, another one, for example, with what, what is, eh, what is that, what is that, Hey, what is this? What is that? Okay. ¿Qué van oraciones? Las que se les ocurra. We are students. Yes. Es, eh, no, escribiendo acá. Escríbanlas en el chat. Y mm, usando what preguntas. Que comiencen con what, where. Why? Who? Uh, where's the one? Uh, how? Okay. Las que estaban en el video. Ajá. Ahí está Oscar, por ejemplo, dice, Who is your dad? ¿Quién es tu papá? What is your favorite color? Okay. What is your favorite color? Correct. What is your favorite color? Imagínense que quisieran preguntar cuestionar a alguien, hacerle inter, entrevistar a alguien, que okay, favorite. Entonces, ¿qué preguntas le harían? Ah, imagínense que tienen ahí a la para a Chayán y le quieren hacer preguntas. ¿Qué le preguntarían? Usando what, where, un artista famoso, right? Ajá, uh -huh. what is your favorite food? Ok, no se les olvide la question mark, la interrogación al final. Where do you live? Ya más avanzada, pero está muy bien. Where do you live? Good, good. Where is her house? Ok, where is her house? Es donde está la casa de ella. No se les olvide el signo de interrogación, ok. Y la primera palabra, where is her house en mayúscula. Ok, where do you live? Ok, good. Sigan, sigan, no se detengan. Where is her house? What is your favorite?
question marks. Yes, what is that? Okay, uh huh. Hey, hey, so what is that? Good. That's correct. Go ahead, continue. Okay, uh -huh. where's my sister? Where's my sister? Where is, where is my wallet? Where is my wallet? Where is my wallet? Or where is the wallet? Who's your mom? Yes, that's correct, Daisy. Good. Good, Ivan, you're good. Why are you sleeping? Que se me ve, se me nota. Lilian? Un poquito. Okay, good. The question mark. No les olviden las interrogativas, right? La question mark. Why are you sleepy? Eso que puse ahí, why are, why are you sleepy? Es, eh, okay, let me check here. The why are you sleepy? Okay, por qué tienes sueño? Okay, why are you sleepy? Es que no dormí bien anoche, sí. Estaba soñando en inglés, por eso. Ya le voy a preguntar si hicieron la tarea. Right? Ah, ya vi que Esperanza no la hizo. No soñó en inglés, va? Ah, okay. <laughs> Good. So, what are you doing this weekend? Good, Nelly. Yes. Uh -huh. What are you doing this weekend? Good. Ah, where is the dog? Eso está buenísimo. Where is the dog, Milagro? Yes, correct. <clears throat> what else? What else, what else? And we have another one. What is, okay, what is your favorite hobby? Okay. And you have this one. What, your favorite, what is? What is your favorite hobby? Uh, what do you do to what do you do today? Uh -huh. What do you do today? Good. Uh -huh. When is your birthday? This is good. Marta, when is your birthday? Uh -huh. uh, when is your birthday? What do you do today? Jenny, yes. Milagro, when can I call you? When can I call you? The question mark, Milagro. No se olvide la interrogación. When, I call, when can I call you? Remember? Cuando es una oración um, afirmativa, I can call you, termina con un punto, right? If we have when, can I call you, termina con signo de interrogación. Yes, good. Hey, nice, very nice, very nice. Nice questions, good. Okay, continue, continue. Where's your mom? Where's wallet? Where's my wallet? They pueden tomar ejemplos para hacer otras. When is the president's speech? Okay, uh -huh, this is a good one. What is your dog's name, Daisy? Good, what is your dog's name? Good. What is el, el nombre de tu perro? What is your dog's name? Excellent question. Good. Why is it so hot? Okay, Esperanza, right? Write a, write a word. Escriba una. Go ahead. 
Why, uh, why is it so hot? ¿Por qué está tan caluroso? Why is it so hot? When were you born? Good question, Milagro. When were you born? Excellent. Yes. Teacher, yes. Es, escribí uno, pero no lo puedo enviar. Mm, ¿Por qué? Eh, le pongo a enviar a todos y no me funciona. De veras. Uh -huh. eh, Solo darle eh, enter. Sí. Uh, yes. Con enter nada más. No habría problema. Ok. How is your cat? Good. Hey, who is that woman? Is good. Who is that woman? ¿Quién es esa mujer? Ah, es celosa, Lilian. Who is that woman? Yes. And then you said, uh, how is your cat? Okay. When do you go to the gym? Good, Nelly. Good question. Where are your keys, Daisy? Good. Um, Esa quedó incompleta algunas. Eh, ok, milagro. When will you learn? Maybe. Yes. When will you learn? Good. Yes. Ok. Good. No problem. Ok. Good. So then these are, for example, the information questions. Ok. Using why, what, where, who, what, uh, how, okay, it says where, how, who, how, this is how are you today, and this is about the age, it says como esta, and this is para la edad, right, how old is he, how old are you, oh, this one, what's he like, um, let's see, we can do that one from here. Yes. What is he? Okay, what is he like? His. Very nice. Okay, ¿qué entienden con esa pregunta? What is he like? ¿Qué significa like? Eh, me gusta. Me gusta, puede significar como. Pero en este caso está con. Gustar, es el verbo gustar. Ajá, es correcto, es correcto, ok. Por lo general significa eh, gustar, ok. Como es él. Exacto, ajá, aquí está cómo es él, pero un cómo de, de personalidad. Okay. No, eh, no apariencia. Okay. No es una, una apariencia física, es una apariencia, una. Me gusta. Okay, say so he's very nice. Ah, el buena onda. Okay, he's very nice. Okay. What is he like? Okay. And this is another question. For example, uh, where are they? Where are they from? What's what's real like? Very. Okay, don't forget to turn off the microphones, okay? Okay, so when you say, for example, what is he or what is she like? For example, uh, we're talking about uh, Right now, your microphone, I think, is on. Oh, hello, hello. Reina, your microphone. 
Um, okay, I got it. Okay, two, two, two places. Okay, then, for example, if I say, uh, let me see, I'm going to ask Samuel. Hello, teacher. Hey, Samuel. Uh, uh, let's see. What is your mother? Yeah, excuse me. No, let's go to the What is your mother like? Um, what? Entiendo la pregunta que es, ¿cómo es mi madre? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, pero la, la respuesta no sé cómo darla. <laughs> ok, ok, no problem. Um, lo vamos a hacer de una manera natural, o sea, escuche cómo otro lo dice y luego usted puede utilizar la palabra. Por ejemplo, vamos, ¿quién me puede decir, what is your mother like? ¿Quién me puede decir una frase describiendo la personalidad de su mamá? My mother is tall. Uh, eh, no, personalidad. Uh, My mother is uh, hungry. My mother is hungry. Hungry. Okay. There it is. For example, my mother. My mother works. Angry. My mother is very cool. Okay. Good. Uh, my okay. mother. My, uh -huh. my mother. My mother is very happy. Okay. Okay. My mother is. Me gustó la palabra que dijeron por ahí. Is funny. Is, my, is my, okay. my mother is beautiful. My mother is beautiful. Okay, okay, good. Ahí ven, ya van cambiando. Eso es. Good. You see, my mother is funny. My mother is funny. Una mamá muy graciosa, funny. muy divertida, okay. Se alegre. Bueno, my mother is so... Le gusta bromear. Okay, my mother is perfect. Okay, my mother is... Uh, then you can use, for example... Uh, a description, right? Eh, my, como... my mother is unique, única, right? I'm very slow. There you go. Yes, good. Okay, solo que oigo un micrófono que creo que hace interferencia. Revisen sus micrófonos. Okay, good. But, hoy si alguien quiere hablar, go ahead. Now tell me, tell me. Questions? No? Okay, this question is, for example, what is your, you can say, for example, what is your boyfriend like? Como es su novio? What is your husband like? Como es su esposo? What is your wife uh, like? Como es su esposa, right? What is your son like? Como es su hijo? What is your, um, what? What is your daughter like? Como es su hija? What is your grandma like? Como es su abuelita? Okay, then you can describe the personality. All right. Estamos. No problem. Una pregunta. Go ahead, Jocelyn. Siempre se pronuncia like. 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 Oh, let me see. Like this. Return the question. Like. Vean el chat. Like. Like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Así. Yes, Yes, Milagro. Um, ¿Cómo se dice suegra en inglés? ¿Por qué haces esa pregunta? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ¿Quieres saber eso? Ah, ah, no, it's okay. No, está bien, está bien. Mother-in-law. Ahí está, bien. Mother-in-law. Es como mamá por ley, algo así. Son los que nosotros llamamos como los familiares políticos, ¿verdad? que no son por sangre. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, está mother-in-law, que es la suegra, está brother, brother-in-law. ¿Quién sería? ¿Cuál sería el brother-in-law? 
Abuelo. No, el brother, brother. Eh, ah, cuñado. Cuñado. Cuñado, cuñado, correcto. El father-in-law. El father-in-law. Suegro. El suegro. El suegro. Ajá. Father-in-law. Yes. Eh, Sister-in-law. Cuñada. Cuñada. That's perfect. Okay. Here you go. Teacher. Yes, sir. No, listen. Perfect. Uh, la, la última palabra. No le escucho bien. Sister in low. Low. Load. Es que se escucha. Yo la escucho como low. Es load. Ahí está, bien. Ahí está escrito. Voy a poner en mayúsculas. Like that. Ah, teacher, nuestro compañero es, tiene una capacidad visual para que podamos deletrearse. All right. Thank you very much. Gracias, gracias. Ok, okay. vamos a pronunciarla eh, Samuel, así mire, L. L. Thank you. Let me check here. L. O. U. Low. Yes, Samuel. L O U. Low. Low. Uh -huh. Yes. Sister in law. Father in law. Brother in law. Mother in law. Ok. Low. Para diferenciar entre las tres palabras que aparecen, bueno, por lo menos con love se escucha como B de último. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Y la otra que es abajo, que es low. Ah, ajá, low. Ajá. No, eso se lo puse ahí para la pronunciación, pero la ajá. palabra es esta. Ya. Yeah. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Thank you. Esa, eso donde dice L O U es solamente como suena, low. Esa no tiene significado en inglés. Ok. Dice sister in law, father in law, brother in law, mother in law, and that's it. Ok. Good. Then we have. Another one. Okay, apart from this. Nice. Remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Then this is the idea now we have the the exercise right for example you have look let me yes we can make it a little bit larger and then you have options okay you have to select one option we have first option is who's that second option where is he from third option what's his name Okay, what is the option that goes here? Look, oh, he is a new student. Okay, si nos basamos en la, pre en la respuesta, ¿cuál es la posible pregunta? Who's that? Where is he from? Or what is his name? Where is he from? Oh, he's a new student. Where is he from? Is de donde es él? Who is that? Who's, who's that? that? Okay, so you can use who's that. Okay, good. Who's that? What about the second? I think his name is Chen Ku. Who's that? Where is he from? What's his name? Where is he from? He's from China. He's from Japan. Where is he from? Where is he from? That, no, it's not that one. What's his name? Okay. What's his name? Give me a minute, please. Check in, because I have a problem with the battery. Deme un segundito.
Aunque huele a pelo, son. ¿Cuál es esa? Va a abrir a Chucho. A Chucho. Te estoy odiando en la cosa. Okay, we're back. No, it's okay. Good. Sorry. Okay, so then we have here, for example, the question would be, what's his name? I think his name is Jim Kuo. I'm not really sure, right? I okay. What about the next one? He's from China. Where's he from? Yes, now we can use. Where is he from? Where is he from? Okay, he's from China. Okay, look at the question. Who's that? Oh, he's a new student. Who's that? Oh, he's my workmate. Oh, who's that? He's my classmate. Who's that? Oh, he's my wife. Uh, that oh, she's una mujer. Responde, it's husband. Who is that? He's my father. Who is that? Okay. This is like when you are uh, showing a picture. Okay. Cuando ustedes muestran una foto, right? And you say, who's that? Quién es? Quién es ella? Quién es él? Right? Depending. Who's that? What's his name? Is the name of a man. ¿Cuál es su nombre de él? Right? His name. And then, si no hay seguridad, you say, I think, creo, I think his name is Chen Kuo, but I'm not sure. Okay? And say, what's his name? And then you say, Chen Kuo. Chen Kuo. Uh -huh. Where is he from? He is from China. Okay? Uh, for example, if I ask uh, Daisy, where are you from? Originally. El Salvador. Okay, I'm from El Salvador. Okay, El Salvador, I'm from El Salvador. And if you say, for example, where are you from originally? I am from Santa Ana, I am from San Miguel, I am from eh, Usulután, I am from Cabañas, right? I am from Cuscatlán. Okay, this is another way that you can answer. Good. Brandon, where are you from? I'm from Suyapango. Okay, good, right? That's more specific. Good. To say I am from uh, Suyapango, I am from San Salvador, okay, in general. Good. Two, sure, I mean, Serhat. Serhat is, I'm from Turkey. <laughs> From Istanbul. Okay, so what's Istanbul like? Where are you from? What's your last name? Where are you from? Uh, where are you from? Okay, I'm from Turkey. Good. Next one. What is the next? What is Istanbul like? What is Istanbul like? Istanbul. What is Istanbul like? Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Very old and beautiful. Action. My last name is Dogen. What would you say about this one? What's your last name? What's your last name? Yes. Good. Three minutes. Hi, John. How are you? How are you? 
Oh, cool. What about this one? This really what she like? What she like? Yes, what she like? Because you say she's really friendly, muy amigable. Okay, was what she like? Como se ella? Okay. Then and the last one, she's twenty eight years old. Cool. Cool. How old are you? How old is she? Is how old is she? Yes. How old are you? How old? How old is like? How old is she? Is she? Twenty eight years old. What is she like? She is really friendly. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. What's your last name? My last name is Erdogan. What's Istanbul like? Istanbul is very old and beautiful. And where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Turkey. From Istanbul. Where is he from? He's from China. Okay, what's his name? I think his name is Kim, uh, Jim Kuo. And who's that? Oh, he's a new student. Okay, so this all type of questions. Eh, ¿Alguna duda o pregunta? Del vocabulario or Something else? Estamos bien? Teacher, I have a question. Which one? ¿Qué significa who's that? Who's that? ¿Quién? Um, ¿Cómo le dijera? Eh, ¿Cómo es? Pues usted, en una fotografía eh, va a depender si usted está enseñando a una persona, digamos a una persona femenina o masculina, ¿ok? Entonces se podría interpretar, ¿ok? O traducir, como decimos, como quién es él o quién es ella. Cuando dice, who is that? ¿Ok? Es que como antes de eso veo el look, no sé, no le daba sentido. ¿En cuál? Ah, ajá, ajá, yes, yes, ya vi. Ok. Dice, look, mira. O sea, como que, a veces, digamos, como que usted esté en la, eh, no sé, en una oficina, en la calle, y con otra persona y dice, hey, mira, les, who's that? ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es esa? ¿Quién es él? ¿Quién ah, es? El look, entonces, es como el verbo ver. Ajá, mirar. Ok, que le dice, alguien le dice, llamar la atención de alguien. Look, mira. Mira okay, ya. thank you, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Eh, esas preguntitas así, por favor, no se queden con ellas, porque a veces son detallitos que más adelante les van a servir y a veces pueden ser que por esas cositas así no se comprenda bien algo. Good. Thank you for the question. Nice. Now, let's see the other one. Okay, we saw the... Now we saw the personality, la descripción de una personalidad, ¿ok? Pues vamos a ver la descripción de ambas, apariencia física y personalidad, ¿ok? Let's listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. 
He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, co-worker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Is now, really tall. For example, um, here. He's really tall, physical description, appearance, okay? Apariencia física, correct? Uh, he's handsome, él es simpático, okay? Apariencia física, right? Uh, she's thin, ella es delgada, right? Apariencia física. Uh, we have he's short, él es bajito, okay? He's short, apariencia física. Okay, she's a little heavy. Okay, es un poquito pesada, pero de peso, right? Entonces se pone como que es poquito gordita, se podría decir. And eh, es físico. Aquí, she's really friendly. Okay, es muy amigable, ya es personalidad, okay? Personality. She's serious. Ah, es seria, personalidad. He's funny. Él es divertido. Personalidad. She's shy. Tímida. Right? Then is personality. She's talkative. Okay? Es muy, muy comunicativa. Right? She's talkative. Es muy parlanchina. Okay? So then you can say is personality. And he's quiet. It is muy reservado, callado, right? She's personality. She's pretty, eh, bonita, right? Physical description. They're good looking, okay? Ellos son muy simpáticos, okay? Then you can say also that is a physical appearance too. Okay? So this is how to describe. Then, my cousin is really tall. My family member, co-worker, that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. Okay. Now, vamos a practicar with si for example, we're going to have Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Screen. Okay. Piensen en alguien que, o sea, su hijo, su mamá, su hermano, quien ustedes quieran, right? And you can say, for example, my, okay, my cousin, dejar un primo. My cousin is tall, eh, fat, and tall, fat, and very nice. Okay. My cousin is tall, fat, and very nice. This one? Okay. 
appearance. Okay, and then you have personality. Personality. So we're gonna use this one for example here. Okay, we can use this. Okay, and this one goes here. Okay. Okay, good. So then you can see, for example, appearance, my cousin is tall and fat. ¿Qué otra podrían decir de un primo que sea diferente? Could be, for example, short. Thing. Puede ser bajito y delgado. Okay. Good. Now, ¿quién quiere describir a alguien de su familia? O un amigo, un primo, vecino, vecina, whatever you want. Okay. Volunteers. Okay, Milagro. Um, my sister is short and very funny. Okay, short and funny. And funny. Yes, I see that. A physical description and also the personality. Okay, good. Aha, uh -huh, Marta. Yes, Marta. My dad is very pretty. They are on team. Okay, who? My? My? La primera palabra, ¿de quién está hablando? My? My language. My what? Mi hija. Oh, my daughter. My daughter, okay. My daughter. Uh -huh. Good, good. Uh -huh. My daughter is? Is very mm -hmm. pre pretty. Pretty. Okay. Hey. And thin. And thin, okay. Pretty and thin. Okay, good. Okay, my son is fat, tall, and pretty. Okay, good. Eh, para son, es mejor si utiliza handsome, okay? Handsome. Okay, el pretty se usa más para mujeres y el handsome para eh, hombres, right? Good. Por ejemplo, Marta is saying, my daughter is pretty and thin. Okay, bonita y delgada. And then you say that one, yes? Good. What else? What else? Uh, Blanca. Uh -huh, Blanca. My brother is tall and thin. Thin. Tall and thin. Okay. Good. Yes, Yosemite. My cousin is hungry, serious, and thin. Okay, angry, serious, and thing. Okay, good. Anybody else? Yes. Anybody, anybody? Teacher, 
Yes, Samuel, go ahead. My wife, my mm -hmm. wife is pretty and tall. And the ultimate? Tall. Tall. Okay. Tall. Wow. Ay, como, la, como, la está, como la tiene enfrente. Va. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, uh, looking my, uh, no sé cómo, no me acuerdo cómo dice hijos. <laughs> uh, uh, children, children. Uh, they look in my children. Okay, good. Nice. I said, my wife is pretty and tall. Okay. Bonita y alta. Good. Nice, Samuel. Very good. Okay, nice. Anybody else? Okay. Alguien que quiere escribir? Alguien? No? Nobody? Daisy. Mm. My sister is tall right, and very nice. My sister is tall and very nice. Good. Okay, nice. You see, this is good. This is good pronunciation. Todos tienen muy buena pronunciación. Muy bien. Good. Nice. My mother is beautiful and tall. Okay, good, Milagro. Beautiful and tall. Okay, what else? Another one? Okay, my hum, my husband, my husband is a hard worker. Esa es personalidad, okay, una descripción del, de su personalidad, right? My husband is a hard worker. Esa que está en el chat significa es un trabajador, alguien que trabaja fuerte, right? Un gran trabajador. Good. What else? Come on, estamos? Okay, then we're going to go. So we have this one. Este, well, you have to listen to Karen is short. Aquí van a escuchar si es baja o alta. Okay, heavy or thin. Friendly and shy. And funny and serious. Pero eh, le vamos a dar una revisada rápida. Solo porque a veces hay algunos detalles en los exámenes. No sé, ya hicieron todos el examen, no lo han hecho. ¿No? Ok. Bueno, en esta parte les voy a recomendar, como siempre, eh, escuchen como, digamos, hagan como una calistenia, ok, Uno como calentar Antes de, por ejemplo, pueden, eh, esta es dura. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718 555-8871. Thanks. Three. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Four. Oh, no. Where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. 
Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Okay. So you see this one, the, the, uh, what I would recommend, lo que les recomendaría es, mire, es un minuto 43. Oiganlo una vez, así sin, sin ver, en, el, en, el, uh, en la parte que está acá. Luego lo, lo escuchan viendo, solamente viendo para que se acomoden el oído. Y ya en la tercera, y lo escuchan una tercera vez y ahí ya van respondiendo. Ok. Este... Esa es una manera, digamos, como para entrenar el oído antes de hacer el ejercicio. Ok, for the listening. Uh, let me see what else the next one. Complete the conversations with the possessive my, your, his, oh, our, or her. Where my is me, your, too, his, su de él, our, Nuestro, right? And her is el su de ella. Yes, Oscar. Uh, disculpe, una consulta. Mm -hmm. el, estas evaluaciones son de una de un solo intento o son igual que los ejercicios? Eh, tengo entendido yo que lo, no pueden hacer igual que los son igual que los ejercicios. O sea, ah, de acuerdo. Es un solo, ajá. Yes, pueden hacer. Pero, pero les digo, para que se sientan ustedes como también más, este, más seguros, ¿va? o sea, que tra tra de que les salgan la mayor cantidad de correctas a la primera, háganlo Exacto. de esa manera, ¿va? para que les funcione mejor. Gracias. Ajá. Eh, luego dice, Tony, this is my friend. Y aquí van a poner, my name is Jennifer Miller. O her name. Siguiendo la, aquí solo para que tengan una idea, siguiendo la... Eh, que hay que seguir el hilo de la conversación, ¿verdad? Dice Tony, Matt está hablando, después de Matt están hablando juntos. Tony, this is my friend. Tony, esta es mi amiga. Entonces le dice her name. Aquí tienen que poner her. Ahora, tienen que tener cuidado de que no se les va a ir una R de más. Porque tal vez ustedes lo están haciendo bien, pero al final se las va a marcar malas, ¿ok? Her. Then, Jennifer is in, y aquí van a poner, por ejemplo, aquí como es plural, ¿cuál de estos es el plural? Ok, el que significa, por ejemplo, my es mío, me, tú es your, his, su de él, our, nuestro, and her es su de ella. Aquí abajo está. Entonces, ya con esto aquí abajo pueden ver cuál de estos es plural. Como ya lo está pidiendo acá, esa es la que van a colocar. ¿Ok? Good. Ahorita no veo que haya mayor problema con la plataforma. The next one is similar. Hay que usar la forma correcta de B. Right? Es R is am. Pregunta, excuse me, ¿cuál sería aquí? Uh, mm -hmm. my... Are you Miss Brown? Yes. Miss Brown después responde y dice, no. Yes. No, I am not. No. Pues aquí van a tener que usar la forma correcta. No, I am. Aquí no, I am. No, I am not. Y así no. están las otras, ¿ok? Usando... He, I mean, uh, is, am, um, or are. Then, aquí es, check the correct response. ¿Qué responde a esta oración? Goodbye, have a nice day. Let's say, I'm just fine, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Or thanks, you too. Okay, ¿cuál es la que tiene más sentido para responder a esta frase? See you later. I'm okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Not bad, how are you? Si ven, hay una que está correcta, las otras. Okay. Good evening. Okay, and then you have, how are you? Hi, how are you? Not bad, thanks. 
How do I say good night? Or nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And read the questions and answer correctly. What are recuerden el estos del et, this, and these. Singular, plural. This, these. Okay. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué son estos? Okay. You can say earrings, plural. Aquí tienen que fijarse si la palabra es plural o singular. Ahí pueden usar un diccionario si no se recuerdan, right? Aunque la S algunas veces ayuda. Entonces vamos a usar this or there. Ok. Les voy a decir que, por ejemplo, no es this, porque después de this tendría que haber un verbo. Ok. Para completar la oración. Ok. You have to choose one of the options. And complete conversation. Use the correct prepositions. Este es el ejercicio que estaba allá, ¿se recuerdan? Aquí tienen que escoger on, next to. Ok. Si está sobre, a la par, debajo o enfrente, adelante. Okay, you have the options. Viendo aquí, aquí el cuadro. Ok. And the next one. Complete the conversation, write the correct answer. Hiroshi, how, um, are, you Michael, are you a Michael from Japan? Yes, we. Ahí se pueden ir a los apuntes que decimos aquellos de I am, you are, he, she is, it is, we are, they are, and you are. Okay? Y acá solo van a poner la palabra. Okay, R. No tienen que ponerlo todo. And the last one. Complete the conversation with one of the three options. De hecho, ya hicimos uno parecido, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Bueno, uh, eso sería este... Si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, pues me la pueden hacer. No sé si ahorita tienen alguna duda sobre o pregunta sobre estos temas. ¿No? Yes. Milagro. Uh -huh. No, no, no. No está reina, no la veo, pero. Pero. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Pienso que yo en un, en un examen donde dice nice to meet you. Y dice trabajar con el verbo eh, to be. Y le puse el verbo to be y no me dio ni uno. Y lo dejé en blanco mejor y lo vendí así. ¿En, en, es, en este examen? En el examen que está, que está en la plataforma. Va, el examen, examen solo es esto. Los otros son ejercicios. Oh, ok. Ok. Uh, si fuera un ejercicio, eh, déjeme ver. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál era el que tenía aquí? Nice to meet you. Cuando dice nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Ajá, exactly. Ajá, ahí le puse el is, el are, que es el to be. Y no me Pero usted lo escribió o ya estaban las opciones? No, tenía que escribirlo. Ok, ahí, mire, hay que tener mucho cuidado eh, porque a veces se comete el error de una letrita, ok, que se que se pueda omitir y por eso puede hacer, ¿ok? okay. O si no se le si puso eh, nice to meet you too o le faltó el it's, algo que le pueda faltar y no se recuerda cuál ejercicio era. Uh, ¿De cuál? ¿De la unidad 3? Uh, no, solo donde dice oh, I'm sorry, well, pero no, exactamente no lo Va, entonces, haga, haga, una, haga una cosa. Entonces, eh, vaya a ese ejercicio y me, me manda la, el, ¿cómo es que se llama? 
la captura de pantalla. Por ejemplo, digamos que si fue este, digamos acá, por decir a dónde ir a la 1. Ok, digamos que estamos acá. Por ejemplo, este, digamos, le toma captura, si este dijéramos aquí le puse yo le puse una R de más me salió mala entonces tómele captura de pantalla a esto de acá y, y me lo envía ok para ver si es algún error de la para saber yo más que todo de, de en qué ejercicio está okay. y poderlo revisar y ahí yo le ayudo para ver si es ¿Algún error de la plataforma o algo? Gracias. Ok, no problem. Ok, people. Eh, I escribo algo en el chat. Before we go for the examen, hay límite de, de tiempo o de respuestas. No, de tiempo no hay. No hay ni... De respuestas, sí. De, ah, las veces que se puede contestar. Sí, sí. Tengo entendido que no. Tengo entendido que no. O sea, son... Porque cuando... Los pongo y pongo, eh, después ya no, pero no he intentado muchas veces. Ajá, pues, ajá por eso les digo, ustedes traten de no, de, por eso les decía, escuchen una vez o dos veces y después de, hay que darle refresh también por cualquier cosa. Y este, si ven que, que una, dos o tres intentos no les sale, entonces pueden consultar. Ok, no problem. Gracias. Okay. Yo, pensé, yo pensé que solo a mí me pasaba eso. No, <risa> oh, it happens. It happens. Es que, es que fíjese que yo como lo voy haciendo un poquito más, como por decirlo así, más lento. Uh -huh. eh, voy contestando una por una y voy viendo si me salen correctas. <risa> uh -huh. pues es otro, ¿ok? Y se me queda, se uh -huh. queda trabado el audio, ya no Aquí. suena. Ajá, exacto. Lo, más que todo con el audio. Eh, hay que ir, ¿cómo es que se llama...? Hay que jugar un poco también con, digamos, con la seguridad y hay que decir, ah, estas, 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 y al final, pum, chequear. ¿Ok? Es una manera también de ir haciendo al, ¿cómo es? esto le llaman double checking, es como una confirmación. Por eso es que a veces les, les hablo en español también para que vean que tal vez lo que yo les dije ya lo entendieron en inglés y cuando yo lo vuelvo a hacer en español, le dicen, ah, ok, ah, pues sí, ya había entendido. Entonces eso les va dando poquito a poco seguridad en sí mismo de que uno entiende y que ya puede ser como más autónomo en ese sentido ¿verdad? ok, ok people vamos a descansar solo, solo porque se portó bien Samuel esta semana le voy a dar mañana libre ok nos vamos a dar hasta el lunes, aquí que agradezcanle a Samuel ok, good gracias Samuel yes, thank, you, please, thank you Samuel okay, thank you, good night ok, have a good night See you Monday. Bye. bye bye. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Eh, creo, eh, Ivania, que debería de ser, supuestamente, según vi en el calendario, decía que ahora, ¿no? pero creo que tienen mañana para hacerlo. Ok. Creo que más tarde, también, sábado, ¿sí? para que lo hagan, lo hagan ahorita que está fresquito, no le den mucho tiempo. Thank you. Ok. Bye bye. Bueno, no, 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 no,